Welcome to Edwards Virginia Smokehouse Cured Meat Q&A. What's the best way to cook cured country bacon? I start off with a cold pan, preferably a black skillet if you've got one. Cold and cook it till it's... Don't want to overcook it. Um, I like mine just a little bit floppy. Some people like to cook it crisp, but don't... don't uh, Key is don't overcook it, especially this dry cured ha- uh, bacon. Um, it's just not as good if you overcook it. And the reason for that, uh, Sammy, is when you look at, say, the traditional wet cured bacons out there, and we touched on the wet cured bacon aspect in an, uh, another episode where they're literally injecting that wet cure into the belly. So they'll, t- say, take a 10-pound fresh belly, pump it up anywhere with 10 to 18 to 23% added water or cure weight and then smoke it and then slice it and prep it. And that's why when you get any wet cure bacon and you put it in a pan, regardless of how you cook it, it shrinks and you lose, you know, sometimes it can shrink as much by 50% size wise. When you get into a dry cured bacon that we do, uh, you know, we've already pulled that moisture out. So that's really one of the keys when it comes to cooking our bacon. And it's something I actually have to, to work. I always inform any new chef or any new customer that's bringing on their bacon. Our bacon is the importance of how to cook it. Uh, the standard in food service is a convection oven 350 for 15 minutes. Uh, the rule with that is if you can smell the bacon, it's burnt. Uh, you know, if you go anything over and that, again, it's that wet cure because for the first eight to 10 minutes, all you're doing is evaporating all that extra moisture. And then that last blast heat is really where the bacon is cooking. So I would generally tell people go a little bit lower, a little bit less time. I say 325 for about 12 minutes and check it. Uh, I sometimes say medium to medium rare, which a lot of people get freaked out about when you're talking pork. Uh, Sam used floppy. I use wobbly as my other technical term, because when you pull that that bacon out of the oven or even out of the pan, the fat's still going to be rendering and it'll actually set up and crisp up within about two minutes after pulling it off the heat. Uh, If you cook our bacon to crisp, my opinion, you're going to kill it. The salt is going to be that first predominant flavor profile that pops you and it's it's you're not going to get the full enjoyment out of what we do with our bacon. So Keith also, yeah, I was just going to say, Keith talked about um, how we pull the moisture out. We lose about 15% in the curing and smoking process where they're adding about 15% in water weight. So there's a 30% roughly difference in in, uh, cure weight with the bacon just starting off. So that's one of the reasons why they like to cook it longer in a higher temperature just to get the flavor to where they need it in a restaurant situation it's just to you know they got to cook the water out of it to get it to taste like bacon got a cured meat question let us know in the comments below thanks for watching